up, Let's everybody? Go, everybody. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> What's up, everyone? Coop here with the Reason Outdoors. <laughs> having a good old time. Oh, we are having a great time on this. Let me just tell you something right now. Here with my buddy T Dubs. All right, we're here today to skin some iguanas. Part of the big thing we do here at the Reason Outdoors is the whole field to table concept. So we take a veteran first spawner, their kids, who's a new hunter, never hunted before, teach them how to scout, how to hunt. We also teach them how to prepare our game and then how to cook it ultimately. So we've got our uh, three recon Marines and Raiders here today. Uh, we've been slaying iguanas the last couple of days oh, yeah. and we got a couple big old canal dragons that we're gonna skin up. So I'm gonna turn it over to Travis because he is the resident ex, uh, expert in all things reptilia here <laughs> in Florida. We can go ahead. All right, so um, first way that we, what you wanna do, lay it upside down and then you're just gonna take the leg here and you're gonna take it. And it's just like a chicken wing, right? You just wanna pop this, that joint, see how it pops loose. Boom, there's one. There's two. You take the tail. And just depending on the size of the iguana, is, you just kind of guesstimate. There's no special right or wrong, really. And it sounds really bad to say it like this, but you got to just break it loose. Oh. Cut. Don't hit your friend in the face with it. <laughs> when you cut this off here, disregard that. Uh, we can eat these front legs. Gonna find the joint, pop the joint loose. Bring Still twitching. Oh yeah, it, it'll do that. Let's just get rid of that. There, she's over there. Then here, what you wanna do, is you wanna pull this through. Now basically it's skinning. Yeah, now it's just, look just like frog legs. Peel all this loose, clean all this off. You wanna take the feet off. Find the joint, break it. I like to leave the feet partially on while you take it off here. That way you can get all behind there. And then from here, Check that out. Ooh. There you go. I know, but that pet, look what that pellet did. It actually did what it's supposed to do. Yep. Mushroom. Oh, look at that one. Really Both did of them. Look at that. That's Very awesome. Very nice. And those are JSB 25 grain monsters. Well, That's exactly what they're supposed to do. Yep. A little sponsor plug there. Absolutely. Yeah. Gotta Boom. do it. So that would be your edible meat. So now we need. Water, or bowl. Water right here, home slice. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and wash this, you just wash it off. Water is always your friend when you're skinning. Oh yeah. We've said Keeping multiple your times before, keep as clean as possible. So that would be your, that would be your regular leg, front leg there. So we'll set that there out of the way for a second and let's show you how to do the tail. Cause it's all the same process, everything you go through. But we want to show them one thing on a male as well while we're doing this. This is just done by feel. This there's no right or wrong. The guana so. skin's pretty pretty durable. Once you can get it start to rip, you can peel it. Hold that down right there. Gotcha. I probably won't cut you. Too bad. Go buff out. Mm-hmm. 
haven't been done yet because you're brand new. Okay. All right. And see if it pulls, peels off. Does it? Yeah, it peels, should peel right off. Get me right there. So I'm just going to give it a little notch. There we go. Just wash that off. Yep. So on the meat, on the tail, you hear me that? Yep. Show them real quick. So this is more like a triangle or like a like a cross, right? So you have just like very similar to gator if anybody's ever done any gators. So what you do is you can take this down like this. And that's one way to do it. Or you can just cook it. Let's see how it just peels off like that. Yeah. Okay. But we'll cook it on the bone that way. Just like a you can, yeah. Just like a back strap. Yeah. But there's one top one and a bottom one. So look in there real quick and just hand me one of the ones that's orange. So look, this is a female leg. So this is a female leg and this is a male leg. And yes, the females do have this ridge line right here, but that ridge line on a female, there's no scent glands. On a male, there's actually a scent gland right here. You don't want to cut that. So you want to cut on the, just the outside side of it or whatever. So you'll just pop this here loose. Finding that joint. But then there's, what you would do is for this scent gland side, you would just come here and cut up. And don't cut across the scent glands if you can help it, because then you don't you'll make your meat all tainted. There you go, that'd be it. So it's the same process just over and over and over again. That's it, man. Yeah. Pretty you guys got any questions? So in a nutshell, yeah. see how the this is how we skin iguanas. We're gonna have these guys skin a bunch of the iguanas we did today, and then we're gonna cook them up and eat them. So field the table. Um, we'll come back to it when time. we're in the kitchen. Yep. Come back to it when we're in the kitchen a little yeah. bit. Because that way we can show everything. Field yep. the table, right? Absolutely. Yep. Field the table, baby. Field the table, baby. Field the table. So once you get all your quarters and your hind legs, you wash them really good until the water turns clean colored. And then what I like to do is I like to take them like this and pour uh, any household pickle juice or pepperoncini juice or anything that comes in a bottle like this. No social brand. Uh, we're not sponsored by this company or anything. Mount Olive. It just they bought it for hamburgers. We use all the pickle juice. And they're up in North Carolina too. Yeah. So, anyway, we're in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> True. So, True. you've got two types of meat. You got a, t a leg and a tail. So it's like your dark meat. So we'll throw all this in here. You have to excuse me. That's me a reminder for me to take out my trash because I'm old and I forget. So then we're gonna throw some chunks of meat up in here. Seal this up real quick. Shake and bake. Shake and bake, baby, not hill. Shake and bake, baby. Got her done here. Big old tail. Some iguana leg. Another iguana. Oh, there's another one. Here's another one. So then what I like to do is just add, get them into the grease a little bit better. And then we'll come back to you when they're cooked. Cooking with tea doves. This should bring me back from many years ago. Boy! <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, that's probably it. It's not what you think, is it? No, not at all. It's um, Zach, what do you think? How was it? Very good. Let's go. Yeah. Like, like, yeah. I like it. Real good? Real good. Real good. <laughs> Real good? <laughs> yeah, I like it. It's, you, can't, you can tell it's not chicken. You just don't know what See, it is. Well, you know what it is. Well, yeah, you know what it is. You know what it is. You killed the damn thing a couple hours you ago. You can't say what it tastes like. So you can't compare it to something else. It's so. the right. other, other white meat. Yeah. Right. Right. It's the exactly. other baby. Right. <laughs> the other, other white meat. Gracious. <laughs> okay. It's good. Uh, it's good. Okay. Get some. Get some. <laughs>